What are good room dimensions? Okay, this question comes from Guilherme. I don't know how I, I hope I didn't butcher your name. He lives in Tavira, Portugal, a place I would love to visit, never have. I'm going to renovate my house and I'm trying to make a cinema room with about 100 square meters and I'd like to get some tips on what to watch out for in the preparation of building the room. I've been, uh, I've been watching your videos and like them very much. Thank you. And thank you very much for your time. Oh, my pleasure. I, I actually enjoy doing these videos and they're a real hoot for me. I just, I'm just gobsmacked that anybody even wants to watch them. So thank you all for watching me blabber on about the thing I'm sort of passionate about, which is high-end audio. So he wants to build a great room, and he is one of the lucky few out there who apparently has the ability to start from scratch and create the room that he wants. And not many of us have that opportunity, to be honest. Most of us are stuck with the room, right? Here's the room. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, nine foot tall ceilings and we've got, you know, 20 here and, and 15 over here and that's what we got. Or it's a square room or it's whatever. And what are you going to do, right? Some of us, once in a while, have the opportunity to build a new room, which is, which is just a real blessing because it's so rare that we get to do it. Across the street, we are building three new sound rooms, three new music rooms that will be dedicated rooms that we can start from scratch and we can build them any way we want within budget, right? I mean, I can't, can't do anything. And, and they're going to be really cool. Now, how did we do that? And, and we will be publishing those plans on our website so that if you want to duplicate what we're doing, you'd be more than welcome to do that. We also published a room calculator that you might find very interesting. The calculator allows you to put in uh, a dimension. In this case, we give you one variable, which is the, the room height, but you can use any, any of the variables you want. And it's pretty slick. You just you, you put in one dimension and it tells you what the other two are gonna be. And the reason this works is because it it's based on some tried and true dimensions that we've known about for oh, hundreds, uh, thousands of years, actually. There's, uh, the, the, the Greeks knew about this, that, uh, I mean, the Greeks were pretty good about sound, uh, believe it. Of course, they didn't have amplifiers and all that, but I mean, the, the Greeks had a wonderful society. They knew how to build rooms, they knew how to build amphitheaters that could actually amplify sound, and they did it with specific dimensions. They, they, they really knew quite a lot. We think of those as, you know, the guys running around you know, as, as we're so smart with our intelligence and, and, uh, and our knowledge in the modern age, but these guys, I mean, hell, they invented all the mathematics and the science, and, and not just the Greeks. I mean, you know, there were the back in, in uh, uh, Persia, and, uh, which is now Iran, in the Middle East. I mean, all of these guys, uh, the, the Egyptian pyramids, for goodness sakes, those people knew a hell of a lot that's been lost from mathematics to architecture. And anyway, so long ago, people knew something that was used, uh, called the golden ratio. And the golden ratio, it turns out, and I don't think this is by accident, but I wasn't there, so I don't know. It turns out that using something called the golden ratio, which uh, you can go on our website, go, just go under, uh, on the website, go to resources on the top tab, and then scroll down, you'll see a room calculator, and I've got a whole uh, explanation of how this works and why. But with the proper dimensions, you can get rid of standing waves. So standing waves are where sound pressure bunches up against a surface and, and, it, and it grow, and by bunching up, it collects up and it makes a kind of a woo, kind of a loud howling sound at that particular frequency. It's, and, and there's other areas which are the opposite that have big suck outs. So you can minimize those by working with proper dimensions. So use our room calculator. It'll work for cinema, it'll work for audio, and it's free. Just hook it up, 
use it, and you'd be amazed at what you can do. Some general rules of thumb, square, no good. Eh, eh, eh. Rectangular is good. Parallel walls, not so good. So if you can take your wall, that one of your walls, and just angle it slightly, like at one end, six inches, and at the other end, you know, zero, just angle it slightly. That really helps vaulted ceilings, ceilings, uh, corners that are angled, uh, corners at the going in this direction, the up and down direction that are angled. Anything you can do to not have sound bank, 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 you know, black, black and forth between parallel walls is going to help. And using those dimensions that we have on our website, psaudio.com, that'll help you a lot. And over time, we'll keep adding more resources to help people design their own rooms. And we're, we're happy to do that. Or just call us, 800 PS Audio and ask for a specialist, hey, can I get some help? I'm designing a room, give me some advice. We're here, glad to help. And once we get those rooms finished, I encourage you, come by. We have probably a couple of people a day that come by here, wanna say hi, wanna see the rooms, wanna hear the system. You are most welcome. We're a very open company, so come on by and grab a cup of coffee and head in there. Won't even charge you for the coffee. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.